Welcome to the Baker Creek Seed Bank in Petaluma, California. We carry several different varieties of seed potatoes from local farmers. As you can see here, we got different varieties. We got fingerlings, we got yellow and red flesh potatoes. They're all great and easy to plant. And I'll just show you real quick uh, how to cut different varieties for planting. Basically, you can take a small potato like this and put it right in the ground and uh, you don't need to cut it or anything. But say you have a great big potato like this. Um, it weighs probably about a half pound. Something like this, you just take it and you cut it like this. And then you cut it like this again on a really big one and you cut it into quarters and just make sure there's some little eyes on each piece. Ideally uh, two or three eyes on each piece. They're the little places where the stems start coming out. And uh, just cut it in sections. Cut it into a section you know about this size and a lot of people will dip them in bone meal. It helps preserve them and then just plant them in the ground about six or eight inches deep and cover them with straw and uh, come back three or four months later and you should have an excellent crop of potatoes. Over here we have some different uh, potatoes. This is called Mountain Rose. And you'll see why in a minute. It's because of the pink flesh. A really interesting and highly nutritious potato. Very, uh, very, very good eating. Uh, great for french fries. We also have a variety of other potatoes including the little fingerlings right here. These are a great little potato. And uh, they're just a nice creamy color inside. Just a real pale yellow. And the fingerling potatoes are very good, um, very good to eat. They're very buttery and uh, tender. And you can cook them with the skins on and they're still very good to eat. When you harvest your potatoes, store them in a cool, dry place. Um, like your basement or something like that. You don't want to keep them in the wet soil and you don't want to keep them in a, a hot conditions. Because if they're warm, they'll start to sprout and start uh, growing new potatoes. So you want to make sure you keep them where they will stay real cool, ideally in the mid 40s or below. But um, if you don't have it that cold, they'll still keep a long time and you'll have potatoes to eat all through the winter clear till next spring.